morning guys oh it's 5 a.m on the way to the gym i'm tired it doesn't get any easy, any easier the more you wake up at 5 a.m the harder it gets to go to training <laughs> funny enough it doesn't get easier um yeah so what's up what's up yesterday uh, what, what during training I stepped out of the gym and I noticed there were a lot of young girls um, going to work and their parents were walking with them. But they didn't look too happy. Uh, most of them looked, I understand, I guess it was early in the morning, going to school. You know, kids don't really like that. I remember when I was young, <laughs> waking up early was a nightmare. But um, what I saw in their faces wasn't really unhappiness from waking up early or anything. I just felt like something was missing. So I finally got the courage to stop one of the fathers literally on the street and i was like okay hey, good day sir sorry for, for for stopping you i apologize if i'm wasting your time i just wanted to ask you something away from your daughter it was a little girl he said oh okay he was very calm i said um I, I just have a feeling that something is missing she doesn't look happy while going to school this guy straight out of like literally didn't even bite his tongue nothing he just said well she's probably hungry you haven't had anything to eat since last night i was like what He's like, yeah, sorry. Um, listen, I'm just a bit in a hurry going to work and I have to drop off at school. I, I didn't even think about it instantly. I, I didn't have much on me. I was going to the shops to uh, buy a bottle of water and go back into the gym. I gave him 20 rands. And I walked into the gym. I dropped off the bottle of water. I got a towel. I walked back into my car. And I just, I had, I think, 200 and I had changed the 200 into 20s and 10s because I usually pay my guys 180 um, but because I haven't been having change I've been giving them 200, 200, 200 and I told them listen guys eventually I'm gonna have to pay you guys the right amount because you know <laughs> I run out of money but anyways so I had all this change in my car so I went into my car and I stood outside the gym and I just started giving every single student that would pass anyone that was wearing uniform that looked like was under the age of 30 that was just young and I would just hey how are you going to school here's money for lunch and these kids were freaking out and that just made me happy I oh man I, I, I had smiles I went back into the gym and trained and on my way to gym now, it just got me thinking. I'm thinking it's five o'clock in the morning. It's a bloody dark. You can't see anything. And my brothers and sisters are walking to, to work. This early in the morning. Some of them are even jogging because they know they're going to be late. It's five o'clock in the morning, but he knows the distance in which he's walking is going to be late. It is painful, man. It is a painful sight to see that when is it going to change? When am I gonna be driving down the road and I'm not seeing my people walking this early, going to jobs that barely feed their families just so they can keep a roof over their head, maybe have one or two meals that month. I pray for a better world and a better life for all Africans, for all humanity, for everyone, for all of us. Guys, it's Tuesday morning, your boy Uncle P, gonna hit a nice two hour, two and a half hour session. Yeah, man, guys, just be inspired, be motivated to do better, man. If you can help anybody out there, guys, help. Uh, doesn't matter whether they can give you anything back in return. Doesn't matter whether you want something in return. But, guys, just, just help as many people as you possibly can. Even with the 10 rand, the 5 rand, you don't know how far kindness goes. And, yeah, man, I wish uh, this story inspires everyone. Guys, none of the stories I tell you guys I make it up. I promise you, I live a crazy life. I do crazy things. It just makes me who I am. And um, that's why a lot of people, you know, when they meet me, they get shocked that somebody like me exists. Yes, I do exist. God is beautiful. Life is beautiful. Respect your ancestors and your elders. And do better, guys. Much love.